Since the beginnings of our history, the sea has been closely linked to our identity as a nation. General Bernardo O'Higgins' vision, combined with the capabilities of Admirals Manuel Blanco Encalada and Tomas Cochran, marked the beginning of a history full of extraordinary achievements and glory. This scene reflects the heroic actions of Commander Arturo Prat and his crew during the War of the Pacific, an example that inspires an entire nation to this day. In the following decades, our Navy was consolidated both militarily and professionally for the defense of our sovereignty and expanded into the nation's maritime development and territorial integration. Today, it's the Navy of the 21st century. A force made up of modern combat units and technically proficient personnel that maintains our ability to dissuade and protect our nation's sovereignty in conjunction with the Army and the Air Force. The National Fleet is comprised of ships equipped with the latest technology, supported by a logistical team to sustain operations. Known as the Soldiers of the Sea, the Marines are trained to operate in all types of military operations. Its rapid deployment is backed by amphibious units and naval transport. From the depths, the latest generation of submarines make for an awe-inspiring and lethal force. In the north and south, the rapid response capability of our fast attack missiles and superior firepower have been an effective deterrent along Chile's borders. The Special Forces Command is ready to operate in the most adverse of conditions. Naval aviation is an essential force that supports combat operation units. The Navy also contributes to state foreign policy by participating in multinational exercises and plays an integral part in the United Nations peace operations, promoting stability and order around the globe. We also carry the message of friendship to different nations. The training ship Esmeralda spreads its sails and navigates along the seas as a floating ambassador of our traditions, customs, and national identity. At the Naval Academy, future officers are taught the Navy's most valued traditions and are provided with a strong foundation based on professionalism, core values, and leadership that they may successfully meet the future needs of the institution. The School for Seamen instills strong character in the men and women who have chosen a naval career. They are taught to perform technical and combat functions both on land and on board naval vessels, which later they will use in their naval careers. Officers and seamen continually broaden their naval careers with specialized naval training at the Naval Polytechnic Academy with specializations in Chile and abroad. In the Naval War Academy, officers receive postgraduate studies that are internationally recognized. The Navy's activities seem to have no borders. Our maritime area of responsibility is 37 times greater than the land area of Chile. Eighty-five percent of the country's international trade moves by sea. The Navy takes on the important task of controlling pollution in the delicate marine environment, as well as its endangered species. The Navy also enforces regulations at ports, on merchant ships, at industrial fisheries, and aquaculture and crafts. The Maritime Patrol protects life at sea, beaches, lakes, and inland rivers, as well as fights illicit activities along the coast, such as contraband, illegal fishing, and drugs trafficking. 
Through ASMAR, the Navy designs, builds, and maintains its naval fleet, as well as national and foreign merchant and fishing vessels. The Navy also provides nautical cartography and charts to promote navigational safety in our waters. The Navy is always with the Chilean people, especially in times of disasters and evacuations. The Navy participates in the nation's scientific endeavors, in exploration and studies of great significance, and in socially responsible projects that include providing continuous logistical support with medical and dental care to isolated communities in our country. From Africa to the Chilean fjords in the Southern Territory and to the Antarctic, over 25,000 men and women protect our sovereignty day and night and promote the development of our maritime territory. Each one of them proud to serve their nation by being a part of an institution that is modern, efficient, and committed to its country.